Dunn uh, uh, was very close to Wan Lee, who was the first party secretary of Anhui. And An uh, uh, Wan Lee was very bold and willing to do whatever was necessary uh, to get farmers to produce, including allowing it to go to something like household farming. But what Dunn said is that where people are starving, they ought to be allowed to find some way to go about and solve in their own way a way of getting food. And even the conservatives found that very hard to oppose. So what they said was, uh, we oppose decollectivization, but we would allow that. Within a year or so, Dung was saying, in, those, in a more general way, in those areas where there is a deep starvation or suffering, we should have some flexibility in letting people solve problems in their local way. Then he sent in a bunch of reporters to report the changes that had taken place. There had been enormous changes. They were much more productive. He had them report to groups in Beijing, uh, send more reporters down, more reports. And within a year or so, he would say uh, that in a more general way, in those areas that have moved to household farming, if the conditions are such and local people favor it, we should not oppose that. And within a year, 95% of the nation was in household farming and decollectivization. So Dung accomplished that without dividing the country and by making it very difficult at each stage for the conservatives to oppose him. It's, it's not uh, what we think of as the simple totalitarian solution. It's a man who is the first among equals, but has to pull along a lot of people who were very determined to continue what they had done in the 1950s and 60s.